What's going on guys? I'm leaving Caracas, but first thing first, I need to pick up a package. A shout out to my friend in Colombia. They were able to send me my laptop charger. If you don't know from my first episode, I left it in Colombia, but they sent it to me, but it took a while. And I explained what, what took so long. All right guys, I got my package right here. The computer charger finally, just in time, right before we're leaving. Guess who I'm leaving with right here? Hola, Chloe, come on, stars. Pronto, pronto. And Chloe's daughter right here, okay. All right, so we have other places to go. I'll explain on the way. All right, so let me talk about why my package took so long to get here. Basically, um, when it comes to uh, flights coming in, we'll have flights coming in almost every day, but as far as delivery service with DHL, it's only twice a week. So you literally have to wait for it the day it, they normally have a flight designated to come in. I guess they use Copa Airlines, and Copa Airlines work with them twice a week. It's uh, one of those uh, tricky things on getting packages into the country because of uh, the relationship they have with different companies from different um, countries. Uh, so they have to go around different um, ways to get people their packages, which is unfortunate. Alright guys, we are at a bus station right here and this is what's gonna help us get to the island we're trying to go to. So guess what guys, we got Bope in the building, his girl, and um, yeah we're heading together and we're missing one more person. <laughs> She flew in yesterday and uh yes, oh, no. yeah, don't, don't start with that, don't start with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> she bought some food. Wow. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Me amigo. Okay, all right. <laughs> when I told her I'm going to Margarita, she's like, hell no. She dropped everything she was doing and made sure she got over here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so it's gonna be a, a good trip. All right, guys. So if you enjoy the fact that the three-year-old is back in on on the vlog, hit that like button. Okay. All right. Let, let's figure out how we get in there now. Yeah. Kim went ahead and got everybody some food. This is the hugest hot dog thing I have ever seen. What is that? So we're actually outside of one of the bus terminals here in Caracas. This is outside. We're not in there because we weren't able to catch a bus to get to the city we're going to. Uh, but they had these guys, these drivers here that'll drive you there. And so they were able to work out a deal, everybody, for us to get their 25 ahead. Um, prior to that, it would have been $20 ahead on the bus. So we're gonna get there a little, lot quicker, but private. I guess minimum needs to be at least four people in the car for them to make the trip so we have plenty of people to do it and yeah all right let's go i'm super excited this is an interesting trip last time i was hanging out with these two we were actually coming to venezuela going from colombia to the border and it was kind of a somber moment now it's uh we are going to go have some fun in their country so it just comes full circle uh, I, I didn't imagine i would have been here but i want to say thank you guys for helping me getting here you know um i think when i left colombia a lot of uh people there was a lot of not naysayers saying uh, i wouldn't make it once uh, i left colombia or once i was uh, not with these girls but was able to push on and continue to grow and um, now we're here because of that i couldn't have done any of that without your involvement so i want to say thank you keep watching man you get rewarded in videos like this you know what i'm saying so let's go man i'm ready to party though i'm ready to drink eat and party Venezuelan street food over here. A lot of meat, a lot of sauce. That's what it's called? Yeah, pepitos. Pepitos, okay. No, 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 no. It doesn't look healthy for me. Okay. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, ya comí. Uh. She already ate. Uno, grande. <laughs> Alright, guys, we're getting ready to leave, but in true fashion, we can't go nowhere out with uh, coffee. Mucho café. Rain negra. Litro de café. <laughs> guys, so we're passing these uh, favelas here, or barrios, excuse me, because we're in Venezuela. And um, they're telling me there's a lot of Colombians that live in that one. It's a big one. Fundación Colombiana en Venezuela. Petare. 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 Fundación. No, fundaron puros colombianos. Llegaron puros colombianos ahí todos. Bastante. Todos encima de todo, así. Colombianos en Venezuela? Colombianos en Venezuela. Cuando van a venir para que los veas. Cuando Venezuela era otra, Venezuela es muy millonaria. Cuando en los años 60, 70, Venezuela la economía era mejor que la de Colombia. Ellos vinieron acá y hicieron casas, barrios, todo. Ah, era en reverse. Al revés, claro. I didn't show you the whole uh, barrio. It was because uh, we had crossed a bridge, but it was actually huge. And I was like, yo, what's the name? And they were like, ¿Cómo se llama otra vez? Petare. Petare. And it's a huge um, barrio. And I, it's, it's interesting to see how things have changed in terms of all oh, the the... Now what we say is Venezuelans are going into Colombia, but before it was Colombians coming here. And that body is a testament of that history. Dicen que Petare es más grande que la favela en Brasil. So they're basically, I didn't get it man, but they're basically saying it's uh, as big or bigger than the favelas uh, you find in Brazil. So that's interesting. I was like, wow, it's kind of big. <laughs> and it's like, it's not hot and it's like right there on you. So we're gonna be heading to a city that's a couple hours away. We're gonna see if we can catch a boat. I can tell you, we're trying to go to Margarita. But um, if we don't get there on time, we might not be able to catch a boat today. So we'll be uh, spending uh, a night over there and then catching it in the morning. But chances are there's a late boat we can catch, so fingers crossed. But on our way, I might as well just show you how the infrastructure of this country is. Because I think uh, a lot of people feel like uh, this country is in huge shambles. You can see some more favelas up here. Um, barrios, okay guys? I think a lot of people feel like this place is disorganized when there is organization still here. Um, this country years ago was a very rich country and when you see like the streets you can see what they did with the money. For example this well-built tunnel right here as we go through look it's, uh, super dope. So I guess we're making a stop because uh, we're full, but uh, hope uh, uh, taxi is not. So I think they're gonna pick up two people to fill his um, taxi. All right, guys. So uh, we're stopped um, to get some gas. Uh, my boy's telling me that this place kind of hot, so we gotta be careful in the area. Uh, it's one of those uh, uh, stops we're gonna do. So some people are gonna try to use the restroom. We got a long way to go. All right. Did you hear that last message I sent you? That 11.30 there's a, a boat leaving? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I just in case. Yeah. All right guys, so check it out. Look at here, all right? I'm in the bathroom right now. Uh, not the best type of bathroom we're gonna get. But we're trying to get to where we need to be. We're in this sketchy town. So these guys are getting it um, started, so they're setting an example. So the girls over there are about to get the polo all straight. They're gonna right? get beer, you know. Hey, we, what's up with all of this, man? We got the, what is this? You got the bike? What you know about the Marlins, man? What's going on here, man? What's all this about? Mr. 305, man. Oh, really? Oh, you from 305? That's cool. Day County, baby. That's that's how it is, man. Day County. That's how you say it, man. Yeah. Marlins was representing for us for a while, man. They was doing their thing. When they had Miguel Cabrera. He's from Venezuela. They had like three or four Venezuelans on that squad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then um, it made it happen. What about um Miami Heat? 
Then they were repping for us. We, we just ball out all the time. We gave LeBron his first um, we gave championship. His ring. Yeah. Wade got a ring. Oh, Shaq came here. Wade City. Wade, Wade City. Wade County. Wade, Wade, County. Wade County. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Wade his. County. It's his. He did it without uh, LeBron. Heat he head on. Oh, yeah? yeah. Uh, okay. Let me see what's up with these girls, man, right here. Let's see what's up. Where's my captain? Hey! Oh, yeah. No se vaya, okay? Get back here. <laughs> yeah, because I went, oh, I just left. I don't know what happened to this stuff. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's see what uh, this uh, truck stop looks like on our way to Margarita. See what my homegirl's up to real quick. Hello. Uh, this is the type of alcohol that got set up right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, what happened? No, I don't have a tarjeta. Oh, that's good. That looks good. Oh. You want to try it? Yes, let's try it. Let's try it. The other flavor. Tarjeta, corona, tarjeta, and what? No, the tarjeta is good. Wow, that's actually a cool bar right here, actually. Yeah, that's good. So they, they said they don't want um extra. We're gonna get what we get now because they're gonna get okay. Hold on. Uh, uh -huh. Ooh, okay, okay. Mm. Okay. She says I. What type is it? Marchita. Guaraná. A guaraná. Maracuyá. Maracuyá. This right here, the uh, orange. Okay. Ah, uh, this is like beer, guys. I'm thinking this is like some type of smear now. Dale, prueba, 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 prueba. Esta está más sabrosa. That's more sabrosa. We all try and we switch it up. Ah, yo tengo este eso. And, uh, I like that one. I like that one. Let me prove it. Let me try that one. Try that one. Can you tell me what it is? Mmm. The grapefruit. No, no, toma la de No, no. No, no. Toma la. No, no, no. Si quiere, si quiere. ¿Cuál te gusta? Ninguna. She didn't like none of those. Dale, compra uno de eso. ¿Qué está? No, que se calienta, calienta mal. Se pone caliente. All right, I'll get the girls a uh, nice trip. I'm actually sleeping on the bus right now, so just in case. But yeah, this is all the type of alcohol you can get here um, that Venezuelans like to drink. And we're in a, for what I'm hearing, a sketchy location. That all these uh, different yeah. beer spots right here. I didn't uh, film it, guys, but there's a person. I can't even see their face, but they're all dressed in green with a AK-47 sitting down, uh, looking ready just in case uh, something needs to be set up. I think that's probably security for uh, the gas station. Interesting how they have uh, things set up here in uh, the countryside of Venezuela. Won't pay again lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> For the trip. Hey, did you see that lady or is a guy with an AK-47 sitting down right there? Yeah, it's a guard. Oh. Yeah, I didn't film him. Oh. I didn't fi oh, that's a guard? It's a, it's a police oh. national guard. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I didn't film him. I didn't film him. Right, here we go. We are leaving. All right. Uh, you guys all like to see happy faces. Okay. Mira, mira, mira. mira. Okay, got it. Okay. Oh, Lord. <laughs> all right. Okay. So I just finished talking to Bob. Cause he's from here, if you don't know, guys, and he's basically telling me this area is known um, as a Wild Wild West area. 
and um, the local gangs have pretty much took over this area. And this area, you can find a lot of good coffee and um, chocolate. I think he said coffee and chocolate. And yeah, this place can get really uh, crazy. That's what I I seen the guard over there, but not in for nothing. If they heard us, they could have came up and uh, did whatever if they knew we were here. So we're in and we're out. We're gone. I did see some guys walking up and down looking at us, but more curiosity. And this guy right here with the, the bag right there, this guy right here, he's coming up right now. Yeah, he's turn off, you can't see him, but he's over there and he stopped. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going. One thing for sure, the countryside of uh, Venezuela is a very beautiful uh, sight to see, pretty much. Really nice. Wow, they're taking pictures. Alright, guys, we're coming up to a, like a police checkpoint right now. And they are checking us one by one to see if we are good. Uh, we got the right guy. Right? Upper, okay, police, okay. Ah, so this uh, this road can be very dangerous and that's why they do have police here guys uh, maybe a month ago um, a couple of people were uh, murdered on this road and uh, so the police have set up a new presence just to make sure everything is good and it actually happened in broad daylight it was like four o'clock in the afternoon and um, but yeah, people got caught up, uh, unfortunately. So now the, co the cops are here to make sure um, none of that energy continues to happen. So the driver is telling us, yeah, everything kind of slowed up. These always get me nervous going across the, the curve. Um, now the truck stop, guys. Everybody, we got we got real quiet uh, when we just passed this bus, uh, so, uh, this road stop, uh, because big guns is out, hanging out. But uh, the driver knows some people that know some people, so it's just no, we don't get no stops on this end. It's good to be with some good people. We were fortunate. Okay, okay. So he's uh, he's basically saying those people were crazy for just stopping in the middle of the road because this is a very dangerous neighborhood. If you don't know the neighborhood, you might think everything is safe here, but it ain't that safe. So that's what he's basically saying. Do not stop in this area. Just keep driving, and um, you'll be all right. Okay, so right here is the hot area right here. Uh, uh, last time he was in this area, they had kidnapped somebody. But, so this is, seems to be a very hot zone area. So I'm just grabbing it for you guys. I don't know, like it's everything. So basically, they're just looking for sketchy people. There's sketchy people on the road. It's not happening. So whoever's sketchy right now, they're not doing that. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't be doing any sketchiness at the moment. Because <laughs> these guys are here. So we, we should be good. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, we are I guess we're stopping for a food stop real quick. Let's see what's going on here. I wouldn't mind some uh, fried chicken. <laughs> you know they got chicken here. So the 
the drivers need a break. <laughs> we're looking for a bottle of rum. That's what we're doing. Ah. We messed up. I mean, I didn't know. You don't want to get it over there? I didn't think about it. I just got beers. I should have got a bottle of rum. Uh -huh. By the time we show up, we could like, there should be like a liquor store. Look at that. All right, guys. So they got some type of patties and sausages here. A rape up. They got the spaghetti and uh, pollo. Right here, you can see the spaghetti and pollo right here, guys. I'm going to try some cafe. Vamos a comprar un café aquí. Cafe? Aquí en la esquina. Dame un café y leche. ¿Tú quieres o no? Sí, café y leche. ¿Quieres café con leche? No, mami, negrito. Puro leche ya. Puro como tú, negro. Okay, <laughs> It's very hot, guys. Mm. I can't even hold this thing up. Yeah. Mm. 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 <laughs> see, see, see. She said like, I'm a hot uh, uh, black guy. See, sí, see, sí, mucho. Yo, ustedes come así, tomar así, bien caliente. No puede tomar en mi mano. Es muy. Oh my. Hasta los hombres son buenos calientes. Oh yeah, wow. Uh -huh. mm. Oh wow. Mm. Uh, guys, it's so hot. Ese hombre. Sí. Pero todos los otros hombres cayentes. <laughs> Oíste. Oh my God. Oh wow. These girls is they crazy right here. They said the only uh, cold guy is the one sitting down right here, but everyone else, all the other guys here, uh, hot, hot boys. Oh my God. <laughs> Mucho. Beef, uh, sweet. <laughs> right here. Mucha sopa. Say, the party started, man. Let me tell you, man. He not playing with y'all, man. <laughs> I'm waiting on y'all. I mean, if it's three dollars. I'll go solo. I don't care. <laughs> Nobody wants to company drinking. How was, Everybody's the, how was your ride? It was nice. It was good. It was good. nice. Okay, cool. Nice and relaxing. Huh? Okay. Throw me a little something, man. Yeah. man. I can't let you drink by yourself, man. Throw me a little something. Okay. All right, that's good. Yeah. Right. Let me get a little shot. Let me. Well, let me try it without it, right? You try it, right? No. I ain't tried it yet, but. Oh, it's kind of smooth. You want to try? Remember? You want to throw? Like a drink. She's like, where? <laughs> wow. Oh wow! Wow! They eat good. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let me get it with the soda right quick. Let me, yeah. Yeah. Let me put a little soda up in there. Let me so, Rum and Coke. Yo también, rum and Coke. Yeah, yeah. That's how we do it in, uh, you know, Dade it. County. Okay, okay. Toast, 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 toast. Yo, okay, salud. Okay. Right here. It's good, I like it. It's good. Yeah. It's a liquor of It's good, guys. It's good. Dame una piazo de eso. The meat is very sweet. Gracias, muchas gracias. So, guys, so I ended up getting me some fried chicken because I know they had it in there. And it's a nice little drink right there. And a uh, ripa. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. ¿Quieres pruebalo, amor? No, no. Hey. Try some of this salad first so y'all can be like, damn, Ace is on the diet. Mm -hmm. Is 
actually good. It was actually nice and sweet. Right now. Mm. Is it? Guatacaca. Mmm. Guatacaca. My favorite. Venezuelan topping. Mmm. Yes. Thank Muy bueno. She said, I drank some coffee over there. Now she's jealous. And so she brought me some coffee. ¿Cuál quien tiene el más mejor café? Eh? Tú no pruebes el café. Me dejo café de ella. She, oh, so guys, there's some competition going on. Heidi actually drunk both coffees that we just recently drank. So she going with uh, Mamacita. Okay, there we go. Okay, da 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 da. Oh, dulce. It's sweet, guys. It's very sweet. It's very hot. Mira que le ponga rum. It's more chocolatey. Put some rum on it. No, 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 no. We got to <laughs> We got to drink it on the way, you know, she made it. Mmm. Está rico, baby. Ah, tú sé como tú. Muy bueno. Sweet like her. Both copies are good, guys. There's no competition between the two. It's just uh, what what wins is the uh, personality between the women, and both of them have a good personality. Uh, it's crazy how we're so far away. We're meeting some nice women. Out here. Está rica, baby. Está rica, amor. Sí. Yeah. What happened? Where are you going there, bro? What happened? This man want to do one more shot, man! Oh! Oh, my gosh. You want me to get drunk real quick? Let's go, baby. Woo! Woo! What's the name of that thing, man? What's it called? It looked like Scarface, the, the print. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's like snoring. All right. Where they had an answer. Oh, my God. All right, let's the camera there. All right. Come on, come on. Get it, get it, get it. She wants one photo with you. Oh, she wants, a, she wants a picture with you, bro. One more photo, one more photo. Todo el mundo al discoteca. Vamos al discoteca. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos. Okay, okay. She wanted me to come in there. Okay. All right. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Tu, tu esposo? No, no, no. I asked if she's married. She's not. No. Está soltera, no? Sí. ¿Por qué está bella, amor? Sí, vaya a ser. No consigo nada. Ah, mira, amor, yo voy a Margarita cuando regresen por ti, ¿ok? Ajá, yo te voy a esperar aquí. Sí. Necesito bikini, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, búsquenle bikini. Trano de allá. Ok, ok. Vamos a una foto, ¿ok? Bye. All right, yo. Buena gente aquí. Sí, sí. Buena gente. Sí. Si no, que, o sea, yo me lo dice, no, 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 uh, so they do a lot of craftsmanship here in um, in the area. Really, really tal talented work. Wow. Amiga mía. Amiga novia. He said that's his friend. That he go way back with her. <laughs> He's really known in this area. He just said. So he actually uh, developed a lot of good relationships here, and uh, you know sometimes he'll come here and he don't have no money, and the, the people will still be kind to help him out, and and so it's important to develop good relationships here.
<risa> All the cafeterias are super hot. ¿Quieres más café? ¿Quieres más café? Yeah, yo pienso que oh. yo quiero uno más. <risa> All the coffee, coffee girls are hot on the corner. They do that for a reason. Oh, there's so much commerce happening on this road. So it's very important that this road stay open because it feeds all these neighborhoods. Also, we were talking about the sculptor. The sculptor you know, undoubtedly uses the trees and his surroundings to make ends meet as well. I think it goes the same for uh, the women here who are just using what they can to make food to uh, just help out those who are just driving through the neighborhood as well. liquor coming through to hold us off what you got what you doing that's a rocky on, this is like the venezuelan uber eats and they deliver <laughs> alcohol <laughs> i need it guys i need it man how long we been waiting for us like an I mean, hour I two think, hours I think, you, I think they've been hassling you for the last two hours there all right guys so long story short we got here Line people started skipping the line and everything then they finally got to the front when i got to the front after her Hundred people skipped me, not hundred. I'm exaggerating. Maybe fifteen people skipped me, right? They tell me, oh, I need to verify my passport because I have a U.S. passport. You, you born here, so you can slide through Even a little bit. Even if I was born here, they they still hassle, hassle me a lot. When they see my ID that I got it when I was twenty years old, like they be tripping. Yeah, they and I got it when I was back in Miami. So they see a number like, hold on, they they trip. Yeah. <laughs> They still, you see, it's still, it's still not done. You know what I mean? So after that, they told me I had to go to go immigration area. So I go there, and then the guy's not there. So they told me I have to go all the way to the front, right over there. That's where we got dropped off. Talked to the guy. The guy looked at the paperwork. He's like, "Oh yeah, I'll call him." So we go over there. The lady that he's supposed to call in call. So she just looking at us crazy, and then she calls, oh yeah, and then she's taking her time to do it. It gets like that. It <laughs> happens. Unfortunately, listen, Venezuela's beautiful, great people, beautiful scenery, great food. But unfortunately, if you come from abroad, these things will happen. So what did you tell me? What did you tell me? What we can, how could I avoid you? Catch the plane, you forgot. <laughs> Just catch a plane catch wherever a plane. you're gonna go. Honestly, yeah, that, yeah, that's what it is. Get to Caracas, like why not catch a plane wherever you're gonna go. Bus travel. Listen, Ace told me before coming, he's like, oh, well, I'm coming from Colombia, I'll cross the border, take a bus. It's too much of a hassle. Negative. I'm unless not. you're Venezuelan, not even if you're Venezuelan, unless you're seasoned and you've done that before, I don't recommend it. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I'm not flying, gonna get into details. Fly into the country. Yeah. Yes. Fly in and fly to you, your point. Of unless control. you unless you want problems. I don't unless want peace. I, I, want I want problems. I don't want peace. If you want problems? Yeah, I want that bus. <laughs> you You're going to get them. You're going to get a hundred of them. Like Ace just went through right now. <laughs> uh, like I'm, I'm, literally I was, I haven't done anything, but I feel tired. You know, you know what I mean? But I'm happy now because you showed me your phone. Because I was like, we're not going to get enough alcohol. When are we going to get the alcohol? Sure, I'm on it, man. I'm, I'm, taking, I'm taking care of you. I'm uh, okay. Gonna, gonna he wanna be up all night. So guys, we're going on a ferry. If you don't understand what it is, like I think we might have said that, but we're going on a ferry. So we're going on one really late night. Midnight ferry, 12, six hour journey. 
Uh, we need something to keep us there because we don't have hammocks to sleep on. So. Yeah. Oh, and it ain't no hammocks on this one. It's like a, it looks like they got, only got big fairies out there. Like seriously, yeah. real deals fairies out they're there. They're big, but they're they're old. But they're old and school. They're not it's comfortable. Just seats and I mean, pick a spot on the floor and do. Yeah, your thing. I'm gonna switch. Yeah, I'm gonna take these shoes off, put some sandals <laughs> on. <laughs> All right, man. Let me know when it cut when it I pop mean, up. If you're trying to. All right, guys, we still haven't left to the ferry. We went to go look for some alcohol. Um, the order that was supposed to come in did um, cancel. So we're now in the hood in the area right here trying to see what's going on. You got all type of energy out here. They said this place is very sketchy. Be careful with the camera. I can see why. There's a lot of people outside. Of people outside right there hanging out. You want me to come with you? You have change? Uh, what you need? I have, I have a dog. I think we go. I mean, just come if you want. Alright, I'll come with you. Oh, Leave your camera here. Okay. okay. You see where we're at? <laughs> show you how the boats look here these are old ferries that are pretty much done with right here as you can see but we are going here okay no, you can't see too much it's too bright hold on it's a ferry that actually takes trucks so it's interesting and cars and everything and this is how they bring food and cargo into the island we're going to it's not your regular passenger ferry that's why we're like cashing it real late. Man, check out that, wow. This is a very old ship, man. It's ready to be sent to the scrap. Yeah, man. Let's get where we're going and show you a little bit more of this area. Yeah. This is kind of comfortable, wow. Very comfortable. We got tables here. Yeah, people already sleeping. They ain't playing no games. Kids are. Hallelujah. No, vamos. No, fuimos. Ready to roll? And we're getting there. We're getting there. We got the front. <laughs> we got front row seats, but. Can't see that, but it's all good. Oh, we trying to figure out where we trying to pour it up. Exactly, I want one of those tables back there. But we're gonna make friends. We're gonna go back there, and make some friends, and we'll get a table. And I'm not going to sleep like this. They already took over all the beds there, so I can sleep like this actually. Ow. Guys, they actually go back. What? Okay. We are officially leaving the port. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> All right. Man. Super dope. You got 
all these different trucks coming to the island for a particular reason. This one looks like they're trying to build some power plants or something. Help out some power somewhere. So that's cool. I heard a guy over talking about he was bringing in meat. So that's another thing. And man, just look at all these other boats that are just, we're just leaving. That just need some help. This thing looks like it's ready to sink, man. If it wasn't hanging on that um, edge, it would have would have sunk for it. Man, this is, uh, I guess, your real type of uh, ferry. Margarita. Right here. This is your real um, passenger ferry right here. Margarita de noche. Miami in the building. No lo mire aquí, ok? Mira aquí. Ah, ok. Uno, dos, tres, aquí. Guys, we get it right, right now. Okay, it's nice. This is what we do. Okay? No, no, no. Mommy. Mom. Okay. The road trip is not done. All day, three oh five every day. I represent it till I die. I was born here, but Miami's my home, baby. Believe that. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Push it to the limit. <laughs> Figure out what time it is. In la otra oh my <laughs> Her other uh, purse. <laughs> Shout out to the women. Cinco y cuarenta y dos de la mañana. So it's, it's five forty-two in the morning, guys. Amanecer. I know it looked like I fell asleep in um, Brope's um, vlog, but trust me, uh, I woke up and I've been up for a while. <laughs> We've been drinking. Amanecimos. Yeah, okay. En el ferry. We've been drinking for a minute, hanging out, and guess what, guys? Check out that beautiful view. I think it's in Margarita. You can really see it from here. Check it out. I know it's windy. You can't probably hear me. Wow. So the road trip is over, guys. I guess.